Before Area 51, there was the Manhattan Project, a secret so big it changed the world, and it happened right here in New Mexico. A new TV series highlights the legend of the Manhattan Project. Tonight, KOET Action 7 News Floor, Angela and Alana Grimstad tells us why New Mexico's role in history still amazes historians. It was the 1940s, and people on the outside could only wonder what was going on up the hill. What was the top secret war mission? The Manhattan Project was arguably history's largest, most secret scientific effort. Only the best and brightest scientists knew the magnitude of the assignments in the remote desert. Today's Los Alamos. Los Alamos really was the ideal location. That's where the world's first atomic bomb was developed ending World War II. The lab had to be so secretive and so secure because if the work got into enemy hands, game over. There was no country before the war better poised to build a nuclear weapon than Hitler's Germany. That's a very scary thought. Most scientists showed up here in New Mexico not knowing where they were being sent, just told to follow these instructions and report here. 109 East Palace Avenue in Santa Fe, just a block from the plaza. And then their journey continued up the windy road where security was everything. The stakes were enormous. A massive fence was built around the complex. Mail was censored. You needed a special pass to leave and enter, and when you did leave, you could be followed by security. Take a look. This is a photo badge for the lab's first director, J. Robert Oppenheimer. High-profile foreign scientists were given fake names. Birth certificates had just a P.O. box number. Driver's licenses had no names or addresses. In fact, you weren't even allowed to utter the words Los Alamos. In code, it was called Project Y. Everything had to be kept secret. But remember, these historical giants were just young men and women. Check this out for the very first time. We showed you this extremely rare home video recorded off the grid by one of the scientists. Now, most of the time, they were hard at work, really hard at work. But here's a peek into the little bit of free time, swimming and hiking, drinking beer, playing sports, riding horses, and creating their own ski lifts, all the while developing technology that would write history. You can see lab director Oppenheimer drinking one of his famous martinis at a wedding. They went on to win Nobel Prizes. But here you could see them just joking around and letting loose. Makes you feel almost like you were there. And now another peek into this past coming to a TV near you. Later this month you can watch a new show called Manhattan on WGN America. All about the project and the lives of the scientists and their families. Here we got a sneak peek at the set as the show was filmed right here in Santa Fe. Telling an important story in New Mexico's history in world history. The story of men and women here working almost around the clock, almost every day, trying to make sure that when history changed, it was going to change for the good of mankind. In Los Alamos, Alana Grimstad, KOAT Action 7 News. Today, the laboratory continues leading the country's defense and security efforts. Construction workers in northwestern New Mexico 